What's happening folks? Back with another reaction, back with another AHA Scoundrel Days demo, and we're going to listen to the demo for Cry Wolf. I've enjoyed hearing how significantly developed, although in a couple cases quite different from the final product, the tracks on this demo second folder have been, and once again it just speaks to the amount of work that AHA put into their early albums and how much um, creativity and diversity of sound they had, even if, you know, hearing the final album version would maybe suggest a different type of sonic atmosphere than some of the demos. So, in any case, Luca doesn't know what I'm talking about either. Let's just hear it. This is the demo for Cry Wolf, a track from their 1986 sophomore album, Scoundrel Days. Wait, whoops. That's the wrong folder. Here we go. A more percussive opening, certainly. differences that it did hit differently than the album track, but it's still fundamentally the same tune it became. But the vocals sounded a bit crazier. There was a moment where Martin seemed Mar Martin Morton seemed to break or crack his voice intentionally. There was more echoing, there was more layering of the the lines in the chorus. It felt like the backing 
support vocals were bigger in a couple moments than in the final version of the track, and the tune overall had more of a dissonance to it, especially that interlude section. It felt very wicked. Obviously more of a percussion foundation in this one. Certainly the opening was more drum-driven than the opening of the album track. And just overall, I was really noticing like the ride cymbal and maybe some of the... Um, just like a, a roll across the cymbals, it really stood out to me how much the drums were the the base of this version of the track. And in a couple moments it felt like this sounds like Cry Wolf being played live, like it had a bit of a live feel, so yeah, it, it felt like a demo, obviously, compared to the more polished final version, but I like the way the, the dissonance was a, a greater feature. Ultimately, as I mentioned uh, when I reacted to was it the live version, maybe it was the video, which I then later misremembered the video when I was thinking, oh, it's concert footage, right? No, but that one's actually like a visual narrative. Um, but I remember thinking, like, is this one of the fan favorites? And it seems like not so much, but I'm sure um, there's diversity opinion about a number of tracks. Nevertheless, um, this one isn't one of my favorites, but it's still characteristic of the fun, energetic sound of their first few albums. And yeah, like I said, um, it felt like a, a bit crazier, a bit more on the edge than the final version, but uh, with less of that stadium organ feel and a bit more of a wicked synth type of feel. So yeah, enjoyed it. Looking forward to the remainder of the demos. It's been such an interesting journey through both the hunting high and low demos, and maybe even more so, despite having only gone through a few of them, the Scoundrel Days demos. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this one, and Luca and I will see you next time. Peace.